Is this the... I don't know if I can handle it. I've seen the writing on the wall. I won't stop now. What's Arub saying? You've committed a taboo by going alone. Learn to work together and return when you understand the crash yard. And I think they blessed our journey. That's the gist of it anyway. <sighs> At least they mean well. Mean well? We're, we're stuck out here. On a worm hunt. And what did I do to deserve- Oh, don't get pissy with me. I'm not exactly thrilled about this either. I was trying to help, and now I have to do freaking community service with- Yes, with me, of all people. I'm well aware of what you think of my capabilities. Uh, shut up! You're the one that always says you shouldn't be doing this job. I'm just repeating what I've heard you say. Have you ever gone hunting on Earth before? Fine. You're right. I'm not cut out for this. But here we are. So now what do we do? <sighs> what Arub told us to do. We're going to hunt a worm. Drewer is supposed to be the next cavern over. Let's go. Are you really... Ugh, whatever. I'm going on ahead. Wait, wait, no. I'm coming, I'm coming. I hate going in these tunnels, but going alone would be even worse. Is that supposed to be a jab at me? No, no. Uh, I'm just... I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's best not to leave you here. I don't want to get in more trouble. Why do the friendliest creatures we've met in the depths so far have to have some kind of mythos about sticking together? The universe has a way of humbling us all. Yeah, unless your name is Beckett or frickin' Vo. I'm sure they have their moments. No, they don't. They don't have hearts or souls. They only care about one thing. Getting the job done? There you go again. They'll do anything, at any cost. I have limits. Maybe, but you didn't limit yourself when you ran off. Cass, you could have... <gasps> I'm trying my best to keep everyone safe. Even if it means... Even if it means I have to put myself on the line. I will not be the reason the Alka have any human problems. These are... The Alka are people, Sai. I'd do anything to protect them, to protect all of the deaths. There's no need for our smog or our politics or anything else we put our grubby hands on. I, I understand how you feel, but I... Do you? Okay, maybe not precisely, but I understand... Silas? Uh, um... Yes. Let's just find a worm, pay our dues to a rube, and get this over with. Truce? Oh, okay. Truce. I'll try not to make any more snide remarks. Good. And I'll make this as pleasant a hunting trip as you can ask for. Bana, Drabor. What's Gaba Garu? I believe Drabor thinks we're little mischief makers. Bana, Drabor. Hamad Fila. Fari Sabir. Java Katla Tita Alta. Nua. Shida Kuli Wuk. 
they're going to teach us plans, strategies, I think. We each take a spear. Uh, these are kind of big for us, don't you think? How are we supposed to throw these? Hamad Bar Rami, Dravor. No throwing. Dravor says we should plant ourselves, like a lure or a trap. Oh, we plant the spear in the mud, brace ourselves for the impact. While you are planted, you keep them away. Let me try. You gotta really get it in there. Here, let me. Call, call, cuss us. Huh? Get every shot, Russie. Shot, crush shot, Tolamayata. Joshua, talk a lot. Fast and. I only caught part of that. <sighs> they say. A hunter is slow and swift. Your partner is learning. Speak, don't do. The hell does that mean? Slow and swift? It's a proverb. Rube was telling me about it. I think it means a hunter takes turns being many things. Sometimes swiftness is needed. Other times, patience. There! And I assume speaking and not doing means encouraging you. I think so. You don't have to. You did it. Good job. Way to go, bookworm. And we go back to being furious with each other. This is how we hunt the worm. When they see our spears, they'll begin to circle us, like Dravor is doing now. Trying to flank us? Turn your spear in the mud. Keep it facing the worm. Okay. Sounds easy enough. The worm readies itself to strike. Bring it on, Drabor. I've got- <laughs> Holy shit! Oreg, you asshole! We didn't even hear you sneak up. How the fuck did you do that? Kara, Namavasov, Dalkahirjuma, Bayanahara Razek. <sighs> See, while one worm distracts, one worm attacks. You, you must watch your backs. This is why you need the crash yard. We get it. We get it. Lesson learned. All right, Sai. I don't think I could ever forget that display. Razak me Razak. Akit, me Akit. Hida Rakas Shah, Hida Zizir Kahama Nir. We. We put our spears interlocking. Back to back, spear to spear. One of us follows the distraction, the other looks for the one in hiding. Doka Taka Jinko! And the worm is ours. Sounds simple enough. Where do we start? <sighs> Nimnayabada. Kanamakos Rumak. Ramamur Shabir Kahum. Shagir Alka. Shagir Dalka. Oh, we're going. We're going to a place for the small ones. The children. The little Alka practice with little worms. Oh, this'll be a piece of cake. And here I thought we'd be tangling with one of the big ones we saw when we came through the breach. Mayata. Okay. 
That's not so bad. We can do that. Easily. How big can a baby worm be? And here we were, all worried for nothing. I... I should have trusted the Alka. They know we're not as big or strong as they are. So we just have to go to this training area, hunt a small worm, and go back home. Home in time for dinner. We might even make some worm steaks for us. But this time, it'll be a worm I caught. It's down this tunnel. He done all. Ma, ducka dean brahak. Dumma nay chitala raha. Dutta wada. Hadura daka. It's a large cave. When we need to rest, follow the light. Bring us a worm. We'll get one. The biggest, small one we can find. Down we go, bookworm. Okay. Keep breathing. I can do this. Just breathe. Wait, wait, wait. What, what are you? Why are you closing? Wait, no, no! Whoa, whoa. What was that all about? Oh, God. Oh, no, oh, no. Sh- no, no. Hey, no, no, no. hey, hey, hey. I have a light. Here. We're all right. See? They all go let their children practice here. We're safe. I'm... I'm so scared. Silas, Silas, listen to me. This will probably be the hardest part of the whole journey, okay? We go down, and there's a big cave down below. That's what Oreg said. You can handle the village dome. You can probably handle this. You've got this. Oh, okay. Here, take my hand. Together, just like this whole crash yard thing says to do. One step at a time. One, one step at a time. And they said, uh, they said they're closing the tunnel for our safety. A knock. Knock three times with a worm, and they'll open. Good to know. Ah, there's light up ahead. Must be the bioluminescence, or the natural wall torches. Have... have you figured out what those are? I think they're natural gas vents, constantly burning in the underground. Not sure how they work yet, though. Whoa. They weren't kidding. This cave is huge. I can... I can breathe again. This has to be almost as large as the village dome. I can't even see the other side through this haze. Ugh, it stinks. He always heard that about baby poop, right? How it stinks so much worse than in adults. There must be a lot of baby worm shit in here. And, therefore, a lot of baby worms. (sighs) Showtime. Just like Dribor and Oreg showed us. Let's go find one and get planted. so well. All right. Get behind me. Get behind? You want me to be the one watching for the ambush? I I can't even see the one in front of us very well. (sighs) Good point. You watch this one. I'll get our backs. That's a plan. Don't mess it up. I'm making an attempt. Now, would you calm down? I think it sees us. Good, good. Keep your spear trained on it. I'm watching very closely. What's it doing? It's just watching us. It's not even circling. Just sitting there. 
might be hoping we don't see it. Do you see it? Uh, yes, I think so. Are you sure? We can swap. I'm paying very close attention. I'm watching my side. You watch your side. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa! What's happening? It... It, it left. It left? Yeah, it's... It's gone. It ran away from us. Shit. What do we do now? We probably shouldn't leave yet. It might still be trying to circle us. Let's wait for just a second and then try again. What if it comes at us from my direction? Well, you better be looking as hard as you can. I've got my side on lockdown. I'll... I'll try. Is this... Is this what real hunting is like? What do you mean, real hunting? We are hunting. Right now. I mean, like, earth hunting. I've heard it's quite boring, actually. I wouldn't know. I've never been either. But, but you said, never mind. I think you just sit in a tree stand until something comes along and then you shoot it. Oh God, that does sound really boring. Not even the excitement of using a melee weapon, like we're doing. <laughs> I know, right? This is like we're in the shit right now. Any moment, something could jump out like Oreg. Wah! Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to be a good crash yard, and you're scaring the worms away. Yeah, I think it's gone. I don't hear any worms. Should we press on? Yep. Spears up. Let's move out. Let's head a little further into the dome. If we follow one of the walls, we should be able to find our way back pretty easily when this is over. We can hope. What do you think they meant when they said, follow the light if we needed rest? Dunno, but there are these natural torches all along the walls. I can even see some way in the distance. Maybe there's another cave that leads out of the swamp. Hopefully we won't need it. I'm going to shut the recorder off to save battery. I want to make sure we get the moment when it happens. Whenever it happens. Sounds good. I got it! I got it! Hurry up! Plant it! There! Come on. Where's your friend? What's it doing? It's not moving. Nothing. Just watching. I still don't see anything behind us. Maybe... Maybe we need to be aggressive? How are we going to manage that? Get closer, but also get planted in time. We'll have to be quick. What if that's playing into the worm strategy? This strategy is supposed to be one of them circles and the other rushes us, and I don't hear anything. Is it just sitting there? Still as a statue. Like a gargoyle, just staring at us. New plan. Let's uproot and try to get closer. What do we do if- I'll keep an eye back here. You worry about cornering the worm. I'm not entirely sure this is wise. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like to keep walking around this swamp for hours, or do you want to get this over with? <sighs> Fine. Hey, hey! No, no, get back here! Ugh! What gives, man? I don't know. They're not flanking. They're not fighting. They're just running away. Did Oregon Drabor lie to us? I... I don't think they would have cause to do so. I think they were trying to help us, but these worms aren't behaving like they indicated. 
animal behavior is hardly my field of expertise. What do you think is going on? My days have been spent doing whatever Zeke tells me to do. I've seen how the Alka farm vegetables, I've helped build huts, I got to watch spears being made, but nothing about the swamp worms. I was hoping you'd read something during your lessons with Arub. The only thing I learned about them is they're vitally important to the Alkan infrastructure. I think I heard Azeeg say something like tooth to tail. The Alka use every part of the worms they hunt. Teeth for needles and spear points, armor plates for their warriors. They have a lot of respect for nature. Respect and patience and abundance. That I do not have. Are we ever going to find another worm? Looking more doubtful by the moment. Maybe we should, like, split up? That's a terrible idea! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We don't have to shout. I just feel like I could take on one of these worms on my own. I'm glad you feel that way. I've not seen any creature in the breach I can handle. What are you talking about? You saved my ass from a giant ice worm. You're the experienced hunter here. <laughs> Hardly. Scout was the one who dropped down after you. I was just helping them. <sighs> I wonder how Scout's doing. Happily fishing the days away, I'm sure. Well, I hope they're having more luck than we are. Do you think maybe we're still being too noisy? Who? Us? You don't say. Wait. Ah, I detected the sarcasm that time. Did you now? Was it that obvious? Yes, actually. Uh, you formulated an obvious interrogative while raising your intonation, which indicated... Silas! Shh! What? D do you see something? Yes. Where? Right there. Ow! Hey! It's a big fucking worm. Of the book variety. I... Thought you'd appreciate the reverse sarcasm. What I'd appreciate is a worm on the end of my spear. Because then I can go back to finding a breach, and then I can find another breach, and then another one after that. But then maybe I'll be done finding breaches, so I can go back to just exploring at my own pace. That's what I really want. And the Alka and the humans will all live happily ever after. Hmm. Now, this form of dreary sarcasm, I'm all too familiar with. <sighs> Let's try going farther. Maybe if we get away from the entrance, we might have more luck. Uh-oh. Worm quake. Do you think? We should be fine. Actually, let's wait here until it's over. Just to be sure. Alright. Stowing the recorder again. Get back here! I'm not waiting around for you this time! Cassius! Cassius, hold on! I don't care. Bring your friends. I'll skewer them too. What? What are you doing? It's nothing personal. Just business, worm. I got a family to feed. It's not my family, but still. It's no use. They cut through the swamp like nothing. We'll never catch up. Nothing's working. We've tried waiting, we've tried chasing, we've tried being quiet, we've tried being loud. What do we do? I don't know. We've been here for hours. Why is this taking so long? This was supposed to be the training area. Should we try to find a place to rest? Maybe we can stop and think somewhere safe. Safe? What, a worm is suddenly going to have a death wish and jump out at us? I fucking wish. One of us is going down. And it might be me, of boredom. You know what I mean. Fine. Only because I'm curious. Keep following the wall. Might get us in the right direction. And can we not charge at any more worms? I know you're impatient, but what exactly is your plan if anything goes wrong on this hunting trip? I don't have a plan for anything going right with this trip, Silas. Why do you always gotta have a plan anyway? Failing to plan Failing is... Failing to plan is planning to fail. Shut up. What do you expect from me? We're explorers. We have no idea what's out there. We gotta be ready for anything. Can't have a plan for things I don't even know about. That's... I mean... That's a good point, but... But what? 
You want me to tell you it'll be 100% safe all the time? Uh, no, I... I can't do that. You know I can't do that. And... Would you let me finish a sentence? I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have shouted. <laughs> you do have some backbone after all. It's fine. I was being an ass. I think we're both just tired and angry. Yes, I think so too. Let's find that spot Oreg talked about. Yes, let's. Finally. I think that's it. There's a tunnel, but it doesn't look like a worm tunnel. It's flat on the bottom and a bit larger than average. And there's a purple glow coming from within. Follow the light, they said. Let's see what's inside. Come on, take my hand again. You got this. Thank you. It's like a mini dome. Oh, there's a little chimney shroom in here. There are no flame torches, but there's a soft light emitting from strands on the ceiling. It reminds me of glow-in-the-dark stickers you might see on a child's bedroom walls. Everything's painted in a violet hue. Look, there's a tiny hut on top of the chimney shroom, Sai. That must be where we can rest. They've left a ladder for us to climb up. Ever gracious, our hosts. And then we pull the ladder up behind us, and nobody can get to us. Anybody home? No? Hm. Looks like we're alone. If we weren't, I surely hope Oreg and Jabor would have mentioned it. Although, I wouldn't mind some help right about now. Maybe the young Alkins would be better at hunting worms than we are. I want to argue but I'd take anything over spending hours running around in circles again. Good thing we brought some rations with us. Here. Thanks. Should we try to rest? Yeah, I guess so. I really hoped we'd be done much faster, but maybe we'll have more ideas after some sleep. Or the worms will get hungry. Is that a good thing? They might get desperate. I don't know. Like I said, I'm out of ideas. All right. I'm sure we'll figure something out later, if we don't run out of granola bars before then. Or die in a cave-in, or get eaten overnight, or yada yada. I know. Sorry. Hard to keep the morbid thoughts at bay. We're gonna pull it off tomorrow. You'll see. Who, um, do you want the hut? I can sleep outside. Oh, you don't think we can fit? I'm sure it'd be cozy. I, uh, I just assumed... Uh, there's not a lot of room, and, um... <laughs> oh, you are way too easy, bookworm. No, you can have the hut. I know it makes you feel safer than seeing the cave walls. I... I appreciate that. Let's try again tomorrow. Get some sleep. I'll do my best. Cass? Help. Cassius. Help. Cassius. Ah! It's all right. It's all right. It, it's just me. I, I heard you calling out. I thought something was wrong. I, I think I think I was. Uh, I'm I'm fine. Was it a nightmare? Doesn't matter. Sorry, we don't have to talk about it. I just wanted to check on you. I'll uh. I'll try to go back to sleep. 
Wait, Silas. Hmm? Will... Will you stay out here? Just... Just for a second. Uh... Uh, of course. It's not too bad for you, is it? Hmm? What? This cave. Oh. No, it's... Uh, I'm alright. Looking up, I can... Almost pretend the void overhead is the night sky. It doesn't feel... Like it's closing in around me at all. How do you feel? <sighs> this cave is so quiet. I love it. It's far, far away from anyone and anything else. You've had much to deal with lately. Not here, I don't. Not now. But tomorrow comes, all too soon, with all its worries. All the unknowns? You should know by now I embrace the unknowns. It's the knowns back at home I worry about. Hmm. Well... Like you said, not in this place, not at this time. Let's forget about what the day may bring. We'll handle it. Is that really you, Silas Caldwell, being optimistic? Did it not sound convincing? <laughs> Too convincing. But now I'm wondering who the hell you really are. I, I thought I might give it a try. Being supportive, rather than weighing you down. You don't weigh me down. <laughs> That's not I what- I know what I said earlier. I didn't mean it. I know you didn't. I just dwelt on your words too long. I just... <sighs> Don't... <sighs> Don't let it linger. Be at peace in this place. I shan't think of it again. The past is gone, and the future is uncertain. But right now, right now, all is quiet and beautiful, and we're still alive. That's what matters. Good night, Cass. Good night, Sai. Get ready. It's headed your way. Shh. Shit. I got it. I got it. No. Ah! What happened? <coughs> uh, it, it charged at me, but... I lost my footing trying to turn my spear. Ah, uh, damn it! I'm sorry. That was... That was a total failure on my part. Come on. I'll help you up. <clears throat> Thanks. Are you hurt? Only my pride. Good. Let's find another one. Do you want me to try and be the one to flush it out this time? Maybe I can be more useful as the distraction. Although I'm not as agile as you are. Cass? I don't know. Nothing's working, and it's frustrating as fuck. It's odd we can't use the Alkin method. Uh, besides my clumsiness, obviously, could we be doing something wrong? We're not doing anything wrong. We're doing exactly what we've been told, and it's not working. Ugh! <sighs> we need a new strategy. What do you have in mind? I'm open to any ideas. Unfortunately, my stock of ideas is depleted. Try anyway. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
let's consider for a moment that the Alka and us humans are quite different. Yeah. Perhaps we are not threatening enough. Or we're so strange, we're too fearful to the worms. Could be our scent or how we look. I don't know what senses the worms rely on. Assume it's hearing. May I ask why? Well, I've, I've been thinking. The times we've been quiet, we've gotten closer to the worms than ever before. Makes sense for their environment. The underbrush means sight is basically useless. There's not a lot to smell since the odor of the swamp is so strong. So if these are baby worms and they go tunneling as giant worms later in life, the only senses you'd need for the underground are maybe touch and hearing. The ability to detect vibrations. Exactly. I think they can feel or hear us coming through the swamp. If that's so, what do we do? We haven't been able to defeat their sharp senses. They tend to become aware of our presence before we can get in spear range. Maybe we can try laying a trap. An actual trap, not a spear trap. What do we use as bait? They've got to be hungry. Shit, I don't even know what they eat. And it's not like the swamp wouldn't have it in abundance anyway. All right, trapping might be too difficult. How did hunters in ancient humanity do it? We're persistence hunters. Humans aren't the fastest, but we can walk a lot longer than a ton of other animals. So we just follow one of the worms until it gets tired? The terrain might fuck us up there. The worms wriggle around in the water a lot faster than we do. And we don't have a reliable way to track them. What could we use to track? If we score a hit on a worm, we might be able to follow a blood trail. But we haven't even been able to- Only ideas, Silas. I know what we can't do or haven't done. I need a plan, a way forward. (laughs) We need to observe a worm. Don't you think we've observed plenty of worms? Uh, No, I mean, every worm we've found, we've given chase or planted our spears. They get spooked, run away, and we go looking again. We need to get a sense for their daily habits. Do they have homes? Do they stay in the same areas? Are they vulnerable while feeding? Do they eat every day, every two weeks? Anything might give us an edge. You're telling me we have to watch and wait. I know you hate waiting, but isn't that part of being a biologist? A lot of patience and waiting around to inspect rare animals. To be honest, I always liked the more exciting assignments. Like chasing rattlesnakes or poisonous toads. You just gotta be quick with those. Well, I'm afraid it may be time to be more like uh, that poor fellow who sat in a tent for weeks just to get five minutes of footage of some colorful bird. Oh my god. You know about that nature documentary? I used to enjoy them when I was younger. Still do, on occasion. They're quite relaxing. I only watched those for the parts where the sharks jumped out of the water and ate the seals. Hmm. This information matches nicely with my interpretation of your personality. Don't even pretend like you didn't like it, too. Perhaps. (laughs) Fine. It's worth a shot. Next time we find one, we'll just sit and watch for... Fuck, another quake? They're even more frequent down here in the training cave than back in the village. Time to sit tight. And please, no cave-ins. So here's the half. I hear Rube say that a lot. What does it mean? Well, something like God's preserve us, or a wish for safety. It's similar to how we say, fare thee well, or Godspeed. Oh. Well, I'm not one for religious stuff, but Sayir Zahaf. I hope so. (sighs) Fuck off. (sighs) Would you start us off, Cass? Don't you want to talk about what we just found? We went on worm observation duty first. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to make a record. Go ahead. Oh. 
Well, we found a worm and a dry patch we could watch some distance away. The worms have a very odd eating habit. I think they're filter feeders, but with a grotesque twist. The worms have two organs for feeding. The first is a set of macerators, which grind through the swamp mud, including any rocks or creatures unfortunate enough to be caught in their grip. This mash is passed down through a filter organ that's like a miniature whale baleen, which pushes the water out, and then the worm swallows everything at ground up. Much like an earthworm, it passes the dirt through its digestive system. It's possible they may even be digesting minerals in the earth itself, which might explain why the plates covering their bodies are so damn tough. Which means... There goes our chances of laying a trap for them. There's no reason for them to take any bait we may find. Yes, and they're skittish as fuck. We tried to get a little closer after watching it just eat for a while, and it bolted. So we tried again. This time, we threw some rocks over the worm, and it just stood still. We were hoping the rock splashing would make it run toward us, but I think the damn worms are sensitive enough they can tell the difference between predators and tiny rocks falling. We have one last trick up our sleeves, but it'll have to wait for tomorrow. We just need a little luck. Or we'll have to be very patient. I'd rather be lucky. Don't I know it. My turn. Go ahead. The lighting in the resting cave is very dim, so I missed this discovery yesterday. Now, the second time, I've noticed some scratches on the wall below us, notably absent of any bioluminescence. Upon closer inspection, I've discovered these scratches to be sigils of the Alcan language, carved into the stone walls themselves. But rather than telling a story, most of these sigils are names, always in pairs. I believe this means that the young Alcans have a habit of scrawling their names onto the walls while they're down here for crash out training. I've all but confirmed this theory because I found Oreg and Jabor's names, and I know they are a crash at. So romantic, Silas. Can you imagine a tiny Jabor and Oreg down here? Jabor and Oreg sitting on a shroom, spooning in the hut because there's not much room. <laughs> mm. Mm. More like Jabor and Oreg sitting on a shroom. Find a worm quick, or this will be your tomb. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That's awful. I like mine a lot better. <laughs> hmm. Want to know something? What? I believe yours was the superior rhyme as well. Oh. <laughs> Having a change of heart again? What is it about this cave? What is it doing to you, bookworm? I... I'm not entirely sure. It's not a trance, is it? Like with the moths on Gaia? I don't think so. I remember this room vividly, even from our last day. I think I read in the past that purple and violet are calming colors. I just feel at ease here. I do catch myself mentally reaching for the fatalistic conclusions that I find so comforting, but... No. All is right in this little pocket of the world. I like this cave quite a bit. The hut's too small, but putting all our other problems aside, at least for one night, it's easy here. I can almost forget about how much we have to do once we get back. Can I ask you a question, Cass. Why are you making that face? I want to ask sort of a personal question. Oh, one of those. Uh, about the future. A future personal question? Now I'm curious. Ask away, oh nosy one. Let's pretend we're not worried about the immediate future. About the breaches or people who won't be named back at Yanis. Thank you. Or even Breacher Team Alpha. Let's pretend we collect our paychecks and we're released back into the wild. Or at least the first bus stop. What do you think about doing? Where would you go? Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm headed right back in the first breach to Gaia. What? There's tons to still explore back there. There's a whole untouched ocean. 
and I just know I could walk in circles for weeks and find new creatures every single day. That's... well, all right, that's a good answer, and I suppose I should have expected it, but I, I meant more like, let's say the breaches are closed off for whatever reason. No fun. What would you want to do on Earth? I don't really know. I don't have a home on Earth. I'd pay off my debts, but I'd probably still be chased around, eventually. What if we ignore those less than savory elements? Isn't there something you'd want to do? Some place you'd like to go? Uh, weren't you telling me about swimming with dolphins back on Acropolis? Oh, yeah, I'd love to do that find some crystal clear ocean and do some sunbathing. Breathe free air and float in the seawater. Watch the dolphins do their thing. Not a care in the world. <laughs> I might be disrespecting my home planet by accident. How so? Well, I... I think I'm associating Earth with all the humans I'd rather not be dealing with. Gaia is the great escape. The untouched wilds, the endless journey, but Earth is still a wondrous place. I act like I've seen it all, just I know there's Earth things I would miss, even if I could make it back to Gaia. What kinds of things? Hmm, huh. this is gonna sound corny. Do tell. Nah, you don't want to be in my head. I'm all ears. All we did today was quietly sit and watch work. If it's all right with you, I'm quite enjoying this conversation. What? Hearing my annoying thoughts? Can't be. I don't find them to be as such. I just... Everything I'd miss is, like... I wouldn't want to leave Alpha behind. I'd miss June's cooking, Greg's tall tales, watching Alex be so happy to name something. Failing miserably. Even then, it's so cute. Even Jay's good-natured complaining. Lizzie screaming with excitement over every discovery. Hmm. Everyone else certainly does have their moments. Shut up. I'm getting to you. Wait, what? Really? I, I was only joking. I thought I mostly just brought everyone down. I said, shush. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. And I would miss morning coffee with you, and watching you gush about your translation, the cultures and histories it reminded you of, and... Anyway, it's all stuff from my friends at Vincula, which sounds lame. And yet, you guys have given me the first real feelings of family. Not everyone at Vincula, obviously. I mean, this breacher team. You guys on Alpha. You... You like our morning meetings? I thought they were a burden to you. So, it's not fair. I'm the only one that has to answer. What about you, Silas? Me? <laughs> yeah. Your future plans? That's what you asked about. Oh! Oh, oh right. Um... Well, uh, <laughs> well, on second thought, I'm afraid my thoughts are just as corny as your own, as you put it. You're not getting away with that. Tell me. Let me guess. You'd be giving boring lectures as a dusty old professor. Greg did give me the idea to write a book. A book? Just any old book? Well, not just any old book. It would be the story of our adventures. Oh, okay. Now that's a book I would read. You better put my name on the cover, though. I want royalties. I'd only do that if you helped me write it. Boring. Writing a book sounds like work. And that's not something you do with a small fortune from Vincula. I'm the sad person here with no plans. Come on, get to the good stuff. You must have some more exciting ideas. Well, I... I had one other plan also involving Breacher Team Alpha. Oh? 
So you do like us too, bookworm. <laughs> you could say that, yes. Uh, it's along the lines of going overseas. I was thinking about a trip to Paris. Paris, bookworm? Why? Oh. Um, yes, you still owed me a uh, guided tour. I I know that was a while ago, uh, back on Pandemonium. Y yeah, I, I, I remember. Uh, wait, you want to go? With me? Yes. That, what? <laughs> no, this is a trick. You're pulling my leg. Cassius, with all due respect for your judgment of character, do you really think I am the kind of person to perform childish pranks? But you're... I, I thought you were just trying to find ways to pick on me. Like how I'm not cultured enough or... I would never. You have such an opinion of me as a stuck-up sort of person. And all right, perhaps it's well-deserved. But I, I may consider myself well-read, but I've rarely left my home state, Cassius. You've actually been to so many places, and, and I thought you could show me the sights. And maybe it would be nostalgic for you. In a good way. Surely you'd have some good memories there, and I'd much rather have your company than go alone. You can't really mean that. I do. I'm still looking forward to it. And you had best believe I'm holding you to your bet. I mean, uh, if that's all right, I don't want it to be an awful experience for you. I, I, I just thought, you know, maybe the whole thing was a terrible idea. I'd be very boring company starting from the flight over, much less the rest of the trip. And you, you probably have better things you could be doing. What am I saying? You most certainly do. You just told me. Swimming with dolphins sounds much, much better. Cassius, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Uh, um, you can take the hut tonight. I'll, I'll sleep out here with the rest of the worms. God, I'm so fucking stupid. I feel it now. It's here. This is our chance. Remember the plan. We wait for full strength. Then I'll do my best to pin it down while you deliver the killing blow. On my signal. Go, go! It's, I'm running, it's working! Yes, yes, you can do it! Kill it! Kill it! I can't hold on! Is it? We did it. We did it. Holy shit, we did it. Yes! I am... I'm sorry, little guy. Today it's you. Maybe tomorrow it's me. I hope it was as painless as I could make it. The most we can ask for. From the earth we came, and to the earth we return. Dust to dust. <sighs> yeah. What do we do now? I have no idea how to butcher a worm. And I think the village will want the carcass. I'm afraid even this young one might be too heavy for us to carry. Uh, should we go back and get Dravor's help? Another worm might come along and eat it, and I don't want to risk our prize on the chance they're cannibals. Maybe if we hold our spears between us, we can carry the worm like a stretcher. Oh, excellent idea. Help me roll it. <laughs> there. Got one spear underneath it. Now the other one. <sighs> Now we just need to lift. 
Hey, we can do it. It's not too heavy. Speak for yourself. I'll just be thrilled this is all over. I'm beyond ecstatic. Our idea about waiting for a worm quake actually paid dividends. Figures the larger quakes throws off their senses. They're blinded by all the seismic activity. Never even saw or felt it coming. Great work, Cass. Uh, does that mean... Are we officially a crash end now? Maybe we should go back and scratch our names in the resting cave with the rest of the trainees. <laughs> um... I mean... Uh, that is to say, I... I... Sorry, that was... Cass? What? I'm... I'm sorry about last night. I didn't mean to make you so uncomfortable. I keep saying the most moronic things and... Listen, I'll I'll forget about the whole Paris trip, if it would help you. Not... not now, Silas. Please. Can we talk about this later? I need to think. Oh, fucking hell. Another one so soon? Cassius, the roof! What? Part of the roof is coming down in front of us! Get back! Drop the worm! No! No! We can't! Silas, run! Forget about it! Just move! You alright? I'm fine. I don't think it buried our worm. Whew. Let's pick up our prize and get out of here before. Holy fuck. Oh. Oh. Ah! Shh. Silas, do not move a fucking muscle. <laughs> going to move so fucking quietly and make our way to the entrance. I don't think it'll fit there to chase us, and hopefully Javor and Oreg will understand why we couldn't finish the assignment. I'm positive we can explain ourselves. Okay, let's go. Quiet. Fuck. What was that? I stepped on one of the fucking spears underwater. Ah, I, I don't hear it. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. It's coming back. Silas, run. Run. I'll get its attention. No, I won't leave you. Go. Silas, you dumbass. Just go. No. Plant the spear. I'll help you. It's going to take both of us. We can't beat that thing. I need you to get out of here, now. I'm not leaving you alone. Are we killing this thing, or are you going to keep on whining? <sighs> hold, hold, Cassius. <sighs> it's wounded. We didn't kill it. It took the spear. We need the other one. Find it, quick. It should be close. Where? Where are you? 
Oh, oh, fuck. Come on, come on. Get out of here. I got you. Oh, fuck, fuck, please no. Fuck, fuck. You can't, you can't be, come on, come on. Breathe, damn it. Breathe, fucking idiot. Come on! You should have just run, dumbass. Oh, breathe, breathe, yes, breathe, spit it out, get it all out, just breathe. What? What happened? Cass, 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 you're all right. Ow. Oh, why does my, why does my everything hurt so much? Oh, what is that? Disgusting taste. <laughs> the, the worm, the, the big worm sent you flying. Uh, your head went under. <clears throat> oh. That would... That would explain quite a bit of my current uh, predicament. You... <clears throat> Cass. Cassius. Yeah? I I'm here. I'm right here. The worm's, the worm's dead. What is it? You're alive. I, I knew I did the right thing. No, you didn't. You almost fucking died. After all we'd been through. We got our worm, and our worm got eaten, and then we killed a bigger worm, and those knights in the cave, and going worm watching, and... And uh, you can't die. You can't. You hear me? Next time, listen to me. You should have left me behind. I, I was trying to help you. I, I, I'm sorry. Because I, I can't leave. Because you. never. Because I, I love you. So that was stupid. Because if anything happened to you. If I had lost you before I had a chance to say anything, again, because you keep getting taken away from me. I... I... I Cass... So listen to me next time. I'm sure I would have figured something out, and then we would have gone home, and gone to Paris, and... And... Yes, yes. Uh, what? We'll go. To get together. I... I couldn't leave you. I won't. Yeah, you could. No, listen, listen. Listen, please. Because... Because... I love you, too. Dumbass! I think... I think we may both be a bit dumb of the ass. <sighs> yeah. Maybe we are. What about it? I, I have no complaints. I'm... Cass, I'm sorry I've not been trusting you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I've been so mean to you. I've treated you like a toddler this whole trip. I... Well... Maybe we... Uh, perhaps we understand each other. A, a bit more now. I, I know. You've been trying. I've been noticing. When you came to the tent... I wish I had been a better teammate to you all along. I wouldn't ask for anyone else. I'm so glad you're okay. Me... Me too. You're okay. We're okay. Battery low. Battery low. Shutting down. No. It can't be. He's... He's...
Syntax is a podcast by Twin Strangers Productions and is licensed under an attribution share alike 4.0 international license. Today's episode was directed and produced by Stella Rowan Odom and written by Ty Vaughn. Silas Caldwell is played by Ty Vaughn. Cassius Thatcher is played by Beth Sage Fung. Additional voices provided by Derek Valen, Gage Odom, M. Mulder. Listen to other episodes, find our social media links, and make donations by visiting syntaxpodcast.com. Rate and follow us on your favorite listening platforms. Tweet us at Twin Strangers P with your burning questions, and engage with fellow listeners on our subreddit, r slash syntaxpod. Know the depths, wish for more. Special thanks to our crowdfunding campaign backers who supported us on this season. Derek Vela, Saf the Something, Michael Ireland, M. Mulder, Dallas Bird, Fox, Johan Kingsley, Rain Ward, Bluebell, 